Hey, old Sergio, how are you? Hey, Warren. Hey, Good to see you guys. Hey, you guys man? What are you guys working on? We're doing a print, a mono print that uh, Warren introduced me to, and I'm really happy that he did. I mean, it's just uh, just put a whole new different bent on what I've been doing. And this is uh, very spontaneous. You know, the colors, uh, each print uh, that you pull is a little slightly different. There's no two the same. And uh, I really like them. And they lend themselves to, to working even more. There's some that are already ready to go, and there's some that I can do things to. You know, and this is... Uh, so this is going to be a, like a mixed media project for yeah, you? Yeah, a mixed media project. Wow, you did a lot. How many uh, How many prints did you do? 40? 41. 41. So you got 40. that double one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with your double exposure, huh? Yeah, the double exposure one. That looks, oh, that looks really interesting. I'll have to see the final result of that one. Yeah, yeah, really good. You have a couple more over here. You want to talk about these ones over here on the, on the table? This is the first uh, suite you did? This is the very, very first one pulled this morning and uh, didn't quite understand the process. Mm -hmm. uh, what, is, what is what is this right here that uh, I see in the uh, That's in the, the actual, uh, that's the actual, what would you call the print Just block? The plate. Yeah, the plate. the plate. Do you do that by hand or? Yeah, by hand. Oh. Uh, Warren had uh, string and we saturated in uh, 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 Elmer's glue and pasted it down. He gave us a array surface and so that we could three dimensional paint. yeah so we could put paint in there and, and give us this effect then we use a lot of pressure I don't know how many pounds of pressure that uh, thing exerts blues. you know so you use a, you use a manual press to, to yeah do it? yeah the, the, it looks like it was built by Gutenberg himself <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> these are these these prints are really amazing like you said there's a whole they're the same, the same, but they all look so different they just do. because of the amount of paint that you use. Yeah, the amount of paint and just, uh, just uh, you know, by happenstance, you know, whatever, the, the different pressures and the paints and the amount of paint and the water consistency and everything is uh, pretty much, uh, you know, it happens as it happens. You know, it's the way I like to work. Kind of controlled chaos. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. controlled chaos. Control, control crash. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and Ward, I, I noticed you're uh, you were inviting a lot of the artists to your uh, to your studio to do this type of prints. How that idea came about? Well, I, um, a friend of mine was telling me I needed to be more social, <laughs> and so uh, I've been going to the shows and actually staying and then talking to people, finding out I actually like being social, and so this is a way to you know, talk, make new friends, talk to other artists, bring them here, get to spend some time together making these plates and talking arts, talking about issues, ideas, <clears throat> um, finding out things we didn't know about each other. It's been a very exciting process. And do you, uh, what is the, the cost for this uh, workshops that you do? The cost for this workshops? You have to be my friend. <laughs> there you go. So, so it's, it's very easy. Yeah, it's very, very easy. easy you know, oh, my, very, very my, good. My go friends, on. I invite them over to you know, make these prints, and what surprises me is, you know, I've made a lot of my own prints, developed in my own ways, but each person who comes and pulls a, a run or two runs out of here, they all turn out and do something different, so it's a continuously learning process. So everybody basically have their own style, you, you mean? They pull, well, the, you know, it starts out with the same process, which I've done and other people have done, but then the final result is unique to the artist. And so they, they have this as a starting place, and then they take it back to their own studios, work on it, and in the end result, the showable results are always very uniquely that artist's. And that, that is an interesting process because I've seen things I didn't think about doing. Because mm -hmm. I, you know, I have my own ideas, other, other artists have their ideas, and so with this process, all of us grow. It's a learning get, experience for... Well, the artists. Well, it's a learning experience, and we all get new ideas of how to proceed into the future with our own work. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'll see what he does, I've seen what you do, I've seen what others do. So then I pull that all into what I do next. And so all of us are raising up into the future, or moving into the future, you mm -hmm. know, helping each other, pulling each other along, giving us each ideas.
Very good. Thank you very much. And uh, Sergio, so so what do you think about this uh, this experience? Was it really? Oh, it was wonderful. Amazing. Really amazing. Yeah, I made a new friend, and uh, um, you know, he taught me something that uh, I'd never done before, and uh, it just is exciting. Exciting. Very good. You know, I uh, I think that's I think that's I lost the a few pounds. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> besides the heat, uh, all the exercise. <laughs> you know, the, that's the idea of uh, of the artists getting together yeah. to socialize and work and mm -hmm. talk about you know what is important mm -hmm. and uh, and learning some new techniques. And I'm glad that it's happening in the Antelope Valley. Oh yeah, you it's know, happening so, here. So it's, it's a good thing. Hopefully, the uh, new generations, so the people, the other artists who will see this video, will get, um, you know, inspired, inspired to yeah. to do the same thing and get together with other artists and and um, and find out that you know we all have a lot in common. Oh yeah, and this man has an incredible space and has a lot of uh, unknown little tricks and tr of the trade, you know, that uh, he passes on. Very so. good. Well, as should be, you know. The, yeah. If you have any, if you have experiences in your life and you have a lot of experience in your work, yeah. you have to share it because if you keep it to yourself, it dies with you. Yeah. But if you share it with other artists, it moves along and and we all grow, like he said, from each other. So thank you, Sergio, for thank this you. time, and thank you, uh, Warren, for your time, My and boy. hopefully we'll see this uh, this in the museum sometime. 